Hey what up guys, it's Fishy and welcome to, well, Rome 2, the game we've all been waiting 9 years to play. Um, yeah, so I got back from my holiday a couple hours ago, I just did a little stream which was really nice, but it was, it was kind of a bit buggy because I'd only just, uh, I've only just got back so I just quickly, like, instantly loaded up the game and instantly started streaming. Um, from my holiday, so that's why it was a little bit messy, but yeah, so let's go ahead and start our let's play We're gonna do a campaign as Rome, and I'm gonna be playing as House Julia uh, Mainly because uh, guys Julius Caesar was a lad. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be fighting him. We're gonna be playing on uh, Probably very hard very hard for a challenge. I don't want to go legendary because I'm not that mad But we'll go, we'll go very hard for, for the challenge uh, the bonuses I get um, I get a cultural oppression, plus 25 public order penalty due to presence of foreign culture, which isn't good. Uh, Romanization, plus 4 culture conversion, so I can convert people a lot quicker, which is nice. And then, uh, plus 10 morale when fighting barbarians, which is, again, lovely. So let's go ahead and jump in to the campaign. Um, yeah, so I'm, I've only literally played a little bit of a campaign. I haven't played loads of it. So it might be, I might be a massive noob to you guys, you guys have all had an extra day to play it, uh, compared to me. So you guys are, are well ahead of me. So yeah, please do feel free to give me advice, uh, kind advice though. Um, and yeah, just tell me how you're getting on with the game, how much you're enjoying it, if you've completed the campaign already. Uh, what's your favourite part about it, what you think should be different. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love to read all through all your comments. And when we jump in, um, yeah, so the, obviously the first thing we'll probably do when we, we do get in, is we have to take the south. You are at war with the Etruscan League. March north and capture their territories. This will allow you to consolidate Italia and ensure the safety of Rome. You must wage war if you hope to extend your dominion. Syracuse and Carthage own territory in Magna Graecia, so conflict with them is inevitable if you wish to expand across the Mediterranean. Otherwise, they may prove useful allies against Etruria, or the Gaulish tribes to the north. Come what may, Rome will triumph. Come what may. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, what do, what's my first issue? What do I want to be? Control... Uh, completely control two provinces, even by dictator, uh, direct ownership, or through city states. And I get two grand for that, which is really nice. Oh, can I turn up my graphics a little bit? That's what I want to do. Let's go, because I was streaming, so I wanted to have the, uh, yeah, I wanted to have the graphics down a little bit so the stream wouldn't lag at all. Um, so yeah, we can turn them up now, though. Let's stick them on high, and that should be absolutely fine. Um, yeah, it should be lovely. Okay, so Roma can grow instantly, obviously. Do we want it to grow? We probably do. Uh, so can Naples, actually. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and expand the city straight away expand that um, I want to get some sort of industry down really so let's go ahead and build this what does this even do uh, yeah so this just gives me more money I'm pretty sure uh, what does it do? yeah 100% why uh, 100 wealth from industry so let's go and get that straight away that'll be a nice little increase in money um, what else do we have we also have this city down here and these cities, we have loads of cities, all these cities can grow as well. The only problem with like instantly growing, um, oh did I not do that? I did do that in Rome, what the hell? Uh, yeah, the only problem with just expanding all your cities straight away is because if you don't build in them, so if I was just to expand this uh, like I'm doing now, so if I was to do that and then I just didn't build in this city, then eventually, um, eventually I'd get slums and that's not good, that really affects your public order. What I'm going to do down here is I'm actually going to build a, uh, oh no, that's over here. Um, over here, I think I'm going to get, what does this do? Public forum, more wealth, and public order per turn. Uh, yeah, that could be good to get back there. What I want to do here, though, I want to get somewhat, what? I swear I didn't build back there as well. Yeah, here. It's just, this little tab confuses me a little bit just to start off with, but I'm sure I'll get used to it soon enough. So here, I want to obviously expand it, and I want to actually build, um... Oh, actually, more food, because that should be really nice. Yeah, for now, I'm going to get the villa. But eventually, what I want to do is I want to upgrade this and then have uh, as a sort of like a military base to attack Sicily from. I feel like that would be a really smart idea to do that. Uh, Armies-wise, we have that battle. army down here. And then we have this army up Ready here, which battle. is cool. Don't really have a lot of infantry in this, so we'll probably have to recruit some. We'll go ahead and get that straight away. That should be done next turn. And then we can probably actually just march them, because I doubt they have that good an army. But just to double-check, we'll go ahead and move up our spy. Uh, and just go check out 
what's going up here. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I don't, I don't really have much there. Uh, I, can, I can poison the well as well. Hopefully that's successful, and then I can maybe start losing troops. Uh, it failed, which sucks. This piece cannot move any further now. Yeah, thank you very much for that. So yeah, he's recruiting. Next turn, I'll move him up. Uh, all my places are really unhappy though, which kind of sucks. Maybe I'm not quite sure why, but let's go down the turn. Oh no, technology. I always forget to do technology. I'm always such a novice. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to kind of get legionaries really quickly, but I wanna. I don't know, I kind of want to get a little bit of just industry backbone first. Like normally you can just, you don't really have to do it. Like I could get away with just going fully mi mi like just military and just wrecking people like that. But I don't know, I feel like I want to have like a, a really strong economy so I can just have standing armies everywhere and people will fear me. Because I'll just be rich and um, yeah, I'll just be able to wreck people. So yeah, that should be pretty sick. These turns are going quite quickly, which is nice as well. Like, sometimes it takes so long for all these to go, but they're going really quickly, which is nice. Because it's, it's, so, it's so annoying when you just have to wait, like, 600 years Rome's for anything to happen. glory is well served by your work in creating this building. Thank you. I, I built a place. That's amazing. Uh, villa's built down there. Trey Gain, who got this? Loyal. My spy got that, which is nice. Where's their army gone? That's what I'm kind of scared of. Um, yeah, I'm very scared. Uh, I, mean, yeah, I don't want to waste my money doing that, actually. Um, well, I'm going to advance my arm. <coughs> I'm going to cough. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. I'm going to advance my army, but this could be a little bit scary. Make haste, men. Your next Because you know, we don't really know where their troops are. The so yeah, we're going to attack them. I'm just going to fight it because, you know, I don't want to just auto-resolve loads of battles and stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and fight it. Uh, I was just reading some of the stuff. Um, and yeah, we're just going to attack it straight away. I don't think we need any siege, siege vehicles because we don't have any siege equipment. So that should be fine. I mean, we have a, a decent amount of infantry as well. I'm pretty sure they didn't have any walls anyway. It didn't look like they did. Maybe I was just being a noob. Because yeah, we have four units of infantry which should be able to slaughter theirs. And then we have a load of missiles as well. So I should just have enough. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. And as long as I don't attack somewhere stupid, like as long as I can use my missiles to my advantage, then it should be fine. And we got, we got the Legio second as well, which is always nice. The second legion is the best legion, in my opinion, one of my favourite ones. Um, yeah, we don't have walls, so it's fine. Dry conditions, the dry conditions are perfect because they have a lot of missiles. Um, oh, this game is just so amazing, I'm literally... Why has it got Roman flags outside of it? I swear they're... Not... Oh, well, whatever. Um, yeah, I've, I've, this game, I've been waiting for it for so long, and I'm so excited that I finally have it. I think we're going to come from down here and just march through there. I think that'll be a good plan. Yeah, I'm just so, I'm just so excited for this game. Just everything about it is so much fun. Um, I'm also, I've am also i also said in the stream for people who were watching earlier, um, I'm going to be doing a, a probably a weekend-long live stream where I just, I just live stream all week, and, and it should just be super, 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 super fun. It's fun? I can't speak, apparently. <laughs> oh, my God. And let's go ahead and create, create a formation group. Um, yeah, so it just means I can advance them. But yeah, it's just another thing I really like is the, the line of sight thing, just where you, you, know, you can't see the enemy troops. Um, well, I can now because I'm on a massive hill. Um, but say if say I was like here, I wouldn't be able to see them because they're not in my line of sight or over here. It's just an awesome, awesome feature. There are obviously a few bugs in this game, but you know they get there always is. And I think like the the, the release copy of Rome too has been a lot better than their previous releases. Like Shogun 2 was a really buggy. Like the online was hella buggy when it first came out, and like the campaign was just all things. Same with like Fall of the Samurai. Fall of the Samurai was a lot better with that but you know it's, it's just That's so awesome just, I'm just excited about this game normally when you tell I'm excited about a game is when I call it awesome over and over again I think when Fall of a Samurai came out there, there was one of my videos where I literally said the word awesome like 20 times in about 10 minutes just everything oh my god this is amazing this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome and like everyone was just like well, stop saying awesome uh, yeah so let's look at their men their men are pretty average their, sh their shields are pretty battered, whereas my shields are a little bit firmer. You know, my shields are pretty battered as well. And my, but my guys have a, a, a experience rank though, which is nice, so that should definitely help me out. I should hopefully just be able to crush through them, because their mob is just going to be obviously weak, but plebs, is, 
are not going to be good. These guys might do a bit of damage with their axes. Or oh, they haven't got axes, they're just swords of them. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty sure I can just steamroll through, General! hopefully. Uh, let's go do that. And these guys can throw their spears. These Velites can throw spears extremely far. Holy crap. So let's go ahead and, we'll go ahead and sprint up the Velite straight away just so we can start taking pot shots at the enemy. Same with these guys, really. All my missiles, all spears can throw pretty far. So yeah, they're going to run up. This will be good. Let's go ahead and speed things up just a little bit. The game speed controls are used They're gonna to run at me, which is, which is kind that. of what I want to. You can pause that means I can just crush the army. Slow motion, clicking oh. on the central button again to return it to normal. Yeah, so they can throw Tila and then charge in. Yeah, and that's that's really what I wanted. That could have, couldn't have gone any better for me, really. So now I can just do that. Do I have any abilities, my general? I don't have any abilities right here, but I'm going to get my general involved anyway. Fire will be taken off, but I don't want to be sniping my men. And then that's pretty much my infantry just destroyed. Like they got mobbed, but I'll just get crushed by my men. Our general is under attack. He is indeed, but he's fighting for honor and glory. He's leading from the front. He is an Alexander of our time. We have to be careful because they are spearmen, after all. General. Oh, I'm going to get flanked. I need to be careful not to get outflanked. Okay, they're about to route now as well. They're getting pounded by spear throwing. This is, yeah, this is good. This battle is going in my favour, which is nice, which is shit, because you know how many more men I have. For reform as well. Reform the infantry. Get the infantry down here. War the We never had a victory point. What the hell? So they can just charge down there. I'm going to have to send my general around the back. Um, these guys might as well just advance anyway, just to be like a weight of numbers, as it were. Pressing the melee button locks the selected. Yeah, so they, they can just push up, like, as long as they just have weight of numbers, I should just be able to push them back. And then these guys should just be able to absolutely annihilate them from. Yeah, these guys should just destroy them. And their levy slingers shouldn't really do much. Nice close up as well. Oh, that guy just slightly close. My general came in from the back. That should just cause havoc. There he is. Where even is he? What does, what does he look like? That's what I want to know. I'm not quite sure. I guess we can have a different helmet, but they all have like random helmets. Yeah, let's go and just clean up these guys straight away with our cab. And then, yeah, we take the settlement for Roma. Which is lovely. I, I guess that's him, maybe with the armor. Then men just get run down. End battle. Lovely. So yeah, I'm not quite sure where their army actually went because they actually obviously took out this army for whatever reason. Their, their standing army at least. Maybe they'll march on Rome and take it. And my army up here, Lucius Lebo, will be too far away to do anything. He killed 150 men. That's quite a lot. I'm proud of him. Well done. After your first battle, you may count yourself a son of Mars. I am a son of Mars, thank you very much. So what do we get? We get Occupy, uh, which is not that bad. Uh, raise the city. What does raising the city do? All captors are killed. We can loot it. Um, I'm just going to Occupy, obviously. Um, Good news indeed. Your general has increased. Okay, so cool. He's now increasing rank, which Come is always there. lovely. So let's go ahead and upgrade him. General, what do we want? Cunning, authoritative, he who is brave is free. Uh, what do I do? Let's go ahead and get that. Good news. Jupiter has given your general a new... S nice way. Household, is that just his house, I guess? Okay, cool. And then... Oh, we can change our picture of our banner as well. We'll obviously have the eagle of this one. That'll be our emblem. Okay, cool. Uh, I want to kind of Who send my spy over here just to check out that you last have place. You selected a target outside the highlighted oh, area. can I tell her to be quiet, this please? Means your uh, suppress advice. I'm sure I will make my own way. Oh, yeah, I also completely forgot about my navy as well. Here it is. What do I yes. just get? Some, some legionaries and then just some infantry. Okay, that's fine. 
That's cool. Oh, we also need to take this place as well from them. That's cool, though. Uh, anything interesting? New faction encountered. Who? Is it some barbarian? Uh, yeah, it is. It's Jin uh, Jinara, which is fine. Uh, settlement captured. That's a pretty cool picture. And another faction encountered. So, I don't really have a... I actually do have quite a bit of money. Um, I kind of want to wait to, about to upgrade that. I guess I'll build I'll build another place here and increase the city. And I will build a, a villa there just because it gives you a load of food. And it's quite nice. And hopefully they'll become happy soon, I hope. Fingers crossed. Uh, what do I even want to click on? I want to click on that. Can I look at the city overall? Uh, yes, yeah, so I should be happy fairly soon, which is good. Let's go to the turn now. Uh, see what everyone else does. And then I'll probably just carry on moving my army over. And that should be absolutely fine. Oh, sh I've totally forgot I need to do trade agreements as well. So there's that army. It's moving down, which is a little bit scary. I, I do have an army stationed down here, which is which is fine. That's absolutely, that's perfect. I can move an army up. I just need to build a few more troops in it, I think, first to actually... Yeah, I need, I need uh, my army down in the south needs to be recruiting Hastati, I feel. Research complete as well. Mission history, defender of Rome, defeat of the following armies in battle, and I get a load of stuff. So I assume this army is the army I need to defeat. It is indeed. Uh, I have an army station down here which I can battle. move up, and... Your I will actually command. recruit some men quickly. I can't actually recruit any men from these places, which is a bit annoying. Ready for battle. Make Hopefully, haste, men. I can probably get some mercenaries though. Is that all? If worse comes to worst, apparently not. Well, we'll get another unit of them just it so we boost the numbers right now. Troubled populace, Talia. So this place um, is unhappy. Why are you unhappy? That's what I want to know. Um, details. Where do I see? Uh, current, why? Taxes, slaves, province, instability. Why so? Why so unhappy? I'm not quite sure why they're so happy, but or so unhappy. That's a little bit weird. Your orders? Uh, that's fine, though. This army is replenishing, which is fine. Hunger for battle. And then these guys should hopefully be a little bit happier soon. Ready for orders. Uh, there's actually no need to increase the size of the army right now. And it's going to upgrade that actually. That would be quite good to increase the, the size of my industry. That would be really nice. Um, I might actually increase the, get some farms though as well. Just so my, I mean I have, I have plenty of food so that's absolutely fine. Uh, let's get a lot of money though. I kind of, I don't want to just kind of like throw away all my money like straight away. We want one, one which increases public order. Yeah, that will give me the biggest public order bo uh, boost in Napoli, which is nice. They're That's recruiting, so next turn, that'll be fine. They are unhappy as well. Everyone's just unhappy. It's so sad. Uh, what do I want to do? you want to increase any of these now? That's cool. Let's go to them a turn. Uh, I'm not researching anything. It's good it tells me, otherwise I would be extremely stupid. Just trying to see what these all do. Library. And what does this do? This uh, tax labour. Uh, I think I'm going to do this because it gives me libraries. So that will improve tech in the long run. Yeah, so if I can improve tech in the long run, that would be really good and beneficial to me. And money-wise, it should be really good as well. Because I, well, as soon as I take my next city, I will, um, I'll get the bonus, which is nice. So they're actually gonna come down and meet me and actually fight me. I mean, they they only have Italian spearmen, and I have a starter. Uh, I'm gonna retreat from battle engaged. just Journey to be safe. Completed. If they want to come get me, that's absolutely fine. I'm just gonna move around me back up there, which is fine. That's cool. If I can get on that bridge, that'd be really good for me. If I can claim that bridge, that'd be nice. 
So yeah, we might actually just go chill on that bridge for now and hopefully he'll come down and meet me once more. And I can just kill him. Household expands. Uh, the family spirit guard, everyone. Replace him to the point. Uh, no, we don't want that. Okay, kind of confused me a, a tiny bit, but that's fine. Uh, Roma is still unhappy. Everywhere is still unhappy, which is fine, but we can sort that out. Uh, can we hire any mercenaries? We can get some. Not very good, Cav. Let's go and get that Cav then. Actually, no, do we get, is that melee Cav? I'd rather have melee Cav. And then, yeah, I can easily kill this army At now. Once. So yeah, we'll go kill that army Victory now, and that should Rome. complete our missions, hopefully. A diplomacy, that's what I wanted to do straight away. Hey, does anyone like me? So I'm already trading with Syracuse, yes? Is that correct? I am here to I listen. Am. I can't trade with anyone else, no. Okay, that's fine. That's all I wanted to look. Uh, this army should really probably Ready be moving fairly soon. So let's go ahead and start moving this army around. We'll go, we'll go this no way. Will escape. And we'll go, we'll go ahead and just take the city straight away as well. Uh, there's no need to do anything really. I'll spy and sort of chill. I have a load of money, so I kind of really want to be spending it. Let's go ahead and upgrade that, and we will get more livestock because we don't really need food that much. Down here, can we do anything interesting? No, we just used all our money, so that's fine. Upgrading Italia will be good. And then when I take that last place, then I'll have a complete province, which is nice. That'll be really, really good. I kind of need to build a bit of a navy as well. Because if I do eventually fight the Carthaginians, which I'm sure I will, I'll need to... Um, where are they going? They're just running away from me. Cowards. Yeah, when I fight Carthage, I'll need to have a, a strong navy to push them back. Uh, also, tell me in the comments down below if you guys have preferred to watch, like, episodes which are 20 minutes long or episodes which are, like, 40 to, 50, to an hour. Because if you, if you want to watch, like, a longer episode, then that's cool. But most people just sort of, like, watch, like, 10 minutes of a 40-minute episode and just skip through it, which is obviously something I don't want to happen. I want people to be enjoying enjoying everything. Uh, Epirus and Athens declared war, which happens, obviously. Household expanded. That's cool. Okay, we want Commander. that. And that's cool. So yeah, he can move forward and take that. Which is fine. Oh, we have some naval troops as well. Uh, let's go ahead and fight this. Oh, in Let circle. Them cower before Rome. Actually, I don't, I don't know. I kind of want to just attack them. Okay, let's go ahead and just attack. We should be able to win that, I think. We, we, I think we have a stronger standing army. Like, infantry-wise, like, the spearmen are still going to be pretty strong and annoying to deal with. And then they have a few more slingers to bring off. But overall, I think we'll be able to just push them back fairly easy. And we can just use our missile superiority. Like, they have slingers, which are a longer range. But my, my javelin throws will just be annoying. Uh, I kind of want, yeah, drive's fine with me. Fog would be kind of Early nice because it would reduce their slingers, but overall, yeah, I don't really mind. Let's go ahead and just have a basic formation. Attacking chest judo, which is fine. General's there. General. Uh, let's go and group. Battle group ready. Uh, and tell them to hold. Hold formation. And hold that formation, and then we'll just advance, which will be cool. So let's go and speed things up as well. As our men just slowly, slowly walk up. The Velotators look pretty cool. Same with the Hastati, really. Uh, how do you... I was just trying to think. How do you get the... Oh, that's a tactical map. That's cool. It's just like Time Commanders. Time Commanders would be so cool. Cinematic mode is insert, is it? Okay, cool. The cinematic mode is so cool. It really is. Yeah, that's really, really cool. 
I, I'm kind of scared. I don't have a clue where their troops are. Yeah, which is, yeah, very scary. They've already deployed their men, you can see. They've jumped off men there. Your orders. We have to be a little bit careful here. We can advance through here, though. We just have to get to the city center. Which is fine. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and send infantry first, then. They're going to advance now. I kind of want to be fighting in a choke point because I feel like my men will do better in a choke point. But I'm still just a little bit nervous about where all their men are. Speed things up just a little bit. Hopefully they'll come in division when I get a little bit closer. Also go ahead and just advance on Velites as well. Still don't know where they are. Astati! Brave Romans, Let's go and scout out my general. Let's go and just charge him forward. He can go scout out because I don't want to run into a trap. So he can advance slowly. Well, not slowly. He can just run forward and try to scout out the enemy. Our general is under there attack. There they are. Okay, cool. I just got some slingers, which is fine. Okay, they're all just in there. Oh, I need to really need, need to move my general. That was so bad by me. The men are wavering. Oh my god, stop shooting me! Our general has fallen. Oh my god, did that just happen? I'm in shock right now. I really am in shock. What just happened? Okay, well, yeah, Jupiter that happened. Gives us strength. And now they're going to advance because they feel like they have the advantage now they just killed my gem. But I still can't believe I just did that. I apologise. That was just me not really paying attention. I will take this a lot more seriously from now on. Don't you worry. Okay, cool. Now, so now we're at a massive disadvantage. We kind of need to advance straight away just to stop these things from hurting them. They're going to form Testudo, which is fine. We've got our spears coming over as well. So yeah, they're going to form attacking the Judo, which means they'll take a lot more damage and And I should just be able to kill these guys fairly easy. Without having to really worry about it. I still are. Uh, I apologise greatly for having my general killed. He should not have been killed. I should just be paying more attention. So yeah, these guys should get killed fairly easy as well. So yeah, we'll go ahead and reform up again. What have they got more missiles? We need to reform. Straight away. We should get to kill them. Use these guys to flank around the side, which is nice. Get up my my uh, other spearmen. My Romans are actually holding the ground quite nicely. <laughs> well, this is where the real trouble is. Off. They have a lot. They've just thrown all their spearmen in, which will hurt me out, which will hurt me a lot, I think. We do have this unit come around the side. I want to be a little bit careful because they do actually have more spearmen there. The battle is turning in our favour. I'm actually going to send these guys around the side, actually. Yeah, I'm going to outflank them. Uh, these guys can also go ahead and just try boost numbers, try push through. Because if that's more numbers, I can use weighted numbers just to push straight through. Same really over here as well. Because yeah, they actually are starting to battle this flank, which is nice. I still, oh my god, I still can't believe I lost my general. I apologise, that was just embarrassing. And it will never happen again, I'll never do something against you. So I say that, I probably will. Trying to run back now. Hopefully, we can just follow straight forward and chase everyone down. And now it's just really a mop up. And let's go ahead and take the city center. And let's go into the battle. So, yeah, that was definitely a shaky start. I should not have lost my general. Lucius Libo is now dead, and may he rest in peace for eternity. I wonder what happens to the army. Hopefully the army stays around. 
And do we just get a new gem roll? We better, fingers crossed. Because it'll be kind of awkward if we don't. A noble death. Requius Etch and Pache. To battle! Yeah! Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and occupy that again. Commander. So yeah, we need to go ahead and get a new commander for him. These are all free, which is nice. Who's best? Oh, he is... He's pretty good. He has effects. So one of these guys has effects. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, so this guy's the best. So let's go ahead and get this guy. Ready for battle. So he will now lead the second into victorious. To, to be victorious, even. That is impossible. Uh, we kind of need to catch Ready this army so then it stops causing havoc Rome. in the countryside. So now we've got this, can we do some sort of like overall law? We can indeed. We need to make people like me. Uh, we have to do that. Bread and grains. Hopefully that will reduce the amount of people dislike me. But yeah, I really need to deal with that soon. That's not good. That creates more squalor. We don't want that. Uh, we want something which just makes people like me more. Oh, I'm going to get a library next pretty soon. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get a library pretty soon. Let's get in the turn. Oh, I have so much money that I should really be spending it. That's the thing. I keep on just not spending my money for, no, for, uh, for whatever reason. But yeah, overall it's going quite good considering we are playing on very hard. And I did just retardedly lose my gem roll. But luckily the uh, these guys are pretty bad to start off with. So that's fine. Um, I might actually just send my navy over there and try and stop. They have more men just randomly. I guess it's just their infantry just embarking and disembarking all over my lands. It's just kind of annoying though. But yeah, Rome is slowly getting unified. Italia will soon be mine. Well, Italia is technically mine. The province name is mine. But I'm pretty sure whatever army rebels against me, I'll be able to kill it. So that's, that's fine. That's cool. A new technology. The Senate will be pleased with your work to further Rome's intellectual greatness. Yes, cool. So now I can go down here and I can actually... What can I do? I can actually get a library, which is nice in this place up here. Commander, we still have a good wind. Oh, we still are catch. Can I force march? Should I force march? I'm gonna do it. Faster, damn you all! And try and catch it. Can I still not catch we them? We cannot do that. Why not? Oh, I don't want to force march then. I guess you can only do it. I don't know why you, I can't do it. There's obviously we some reason. We cannot follow why. this order. Uh, I might. What I might do is actually bring down my navy as well. Yes. Uh, addict. That's done, which is nice. Unhappy population. Yeah, Italia is very unhappy. It's so unhappy, but at least it's increasing now. I need to make them like me all again, which is not good. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and do that. So that's pretty much all of our money. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. If you guys have any advice for me, obviously not be retarded with my generals. Like any... Um, this confuses me. Like, what does it do? Like, it does just confuse me. So please... Please go ahead and tell me what that does. Uh, yeah, but yeah, just go ahead and give me any advice in the comments. Uh, obviously not obvious advice, so don't worry the general in and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, yeah just, just other advice which I might not have got. And yeah, I'll be sure to go ahead and uh, bring the next episode as soon as possible. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Fish out.